hello friends, how are you? I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm in my kitchen today and you are just going to be seeing me today just tying up some tie-dye shirts. Well, some shirts to do some tie-dye. Um, right now I'm just kind of, this one I think I'm going to do polka dot. Never done polka dots before. I thought I would do that. These are only size I had was some three X's, so I don't know if I give them away or whatever. And you're not a three X, you can always use them as a nightgown. And if I want to keep them, I think I can turn them into something else besides a nightgown. Turn them into a cute little shirt. I can put some fringes on the bottom. And I can tie them up. And they would look cute on anybody. Even if you are small, I could fix it. Be cute for a little summer shirt. But yeah, just um, I started I started tying them on, and I'm like, oh, I was gonna record this. So, and all I'm doing is just I just this is how far I've gotten so far. I just got one, two, three, and some little ones up here on the sleeve. And all I did was take and I put them, I put the shirts through the rinse cycle, rinse cycle in the wash machine, and I fold them completely in half. I turned them inside out, and fold them in half, and then no, these aren't inside out, but um, I was going to do I was going to do some hearts, but. That takes a lot of time, and by the time when I, the way you have to fold the, the hearts, my hands are so sore by the time I'm done with those, so I'm not doing them. So when I, all I'm doing is just taking wherever I might want a little polka dot, you can make them this big or as little as you want. I'm just taking that area, and I'm just kind of squeezing it a little bit, and then just taking a rubber band and just like this and make them as big or little as you want and I don't know if I'm going to do any other kind of design on here or not have decided I'm gonna just hold it up like here and I decide where I want more make a bigger one here so how are you guys all doing today I hope you guys are all doing pretty good on this Thursday it's been kind of a sleepy Thursday for me I'm in, I just felt kind of sleepy today and tired so my hubby and uh, a couple other people I talked to they just felt kind of blah and sleepy Get this. I like to get in here and make sure I'm getting both pieces. Okay, honey. Oh yeah, and um, I was gonna say that on you are on my Facebook. I have I am doing a and if you see my community tab, I have a I didn't post the link because I wasn't sure how you guys would feel about that. Because some people were kind of uh, iffy about you know, but I do have a link for a sensei party if you guys. Are like Sensi, you know, there's no obligation for you guys to go and order anything. But if you guys want to go look, it's a Valentine's Day Sensi party. There is a lot of nice things on there. They're having a 10% um, discount on there. So 
If that's anything that you might be interested in, you can go check that out. If you don't want to hit, you can um, DM me or put a, uh, you can just say something in the comments on here that you would like the, the link or if you'd like for me to put the link in the community tab, you can um, say yes, put the link here. If not, you know, you can say um, DM me on Instagram or add me, you know, invite me to your party on Facebook. But they have a lot of nice things in there. I always go to the clearance thing. I think that's under specials. But I always go to the clearance because they always have a lot of nice things on the clearance. And I don't know if any of you have done Scentsy or anything before, but um, my husband for Christmas got me the with with box, which is a bath thing, a bath box. And the and Brandy, the host, who is my friend, she um, she also puts in some goodies in there. But the Luna body and hand cream, they smell absolutely amazing. Those are probably my favorite things in there. My favorite. So, yeah, this, just leave a message if you do or don't, just, you know, just let me know. Oh, I think I might just want one right here. Well, that really won't be a dot, though, will it? No, but we'll just do something here. Make a little ghosty ghost. But my husband's like, you better make sure you. Oh, let's go back with you. Huh. I don't know. He said, you better make sure you cover everything up in there. Floor, everything. Because I always make a mess. I do. He said, put something on that you don't care about getting stuff on. Oh, I can't hardly do it with this hand. I don't know why I even try. Okay. Because you will get dye on everything, which I usually do. But it cleans up pretty good, so. I'm not too terribly worried about that. Not too terribly worried. I think I might want something here. You know, it's your, that's one thing about tie-dye. It's you can do whatever you want to do. It's your design. You do what you want. decided what color do I want to do all different colors do I want to do something Valentine's -y? what do I want to do here I just don't know because I could kind of just do the you know the dots and I could crumble it up and do something with all the little crinkles and valleys. What do we want to do? Ooh. 
Oh, sorry. Didn't mean not to talk. I'm in your way. I'm gonna do one little one here. So who's all ready for the Super Bowl? Okay, I have watched. I don't really watch the Super Bowl much. Oh my grandson, he is so excited. His team is the 49ers. He went and seen them in. Yeah, I can't remember if it was September or October. Oh, he was so excited. He went to California and seen them because that's where his dad's from. Is from California, and he just absolutely loved it. He was so thrilled and excited. And he's been doing exercises because he is training for the NFL. Because he is going to play for um, the 49ers when he's older. Okay? So that is his dream. And no one is going to interfere with that. So that is what he is going to do. So now... What I'm going to do is, where did I put the lid? I have to have the lid to do this. If my husband took away my lid for this, I'm going to be him. Hold on. Okay. Most important part of not making a mess is I have an old tote lid that we didn't have the thing for. Okay. And underneath that, I have a piece of cloth to catch some of the dripping. This is all just what I use when I do this. I have two of these blocks here. I just had an old, uh, an extra. Baking cooking rack, cooling rack, that, I mean, I have so many of these that I didn't need this one. And I put my shirt on here. It has some bags ready because you're going to put them in bags, okay? I need some bags, and I like to double bag them. And then however you're going to do your design. And this one, I think I'm going to kind of freehand a little bit of it, some of it. So, I want my little dots standing up straight so I can get them and I think I might do a little bit of these valleys here but what am I going to do I wish I would have went by so you guys could have told me in the comments but okay neither here nor there so and what I have is the kind that you can just mix okay um I'm going to do some, ooh, teal and purple. Red and pink. I think I'm going to do is this going to turn pink let me see if this turns pink or not and I just have the kind that already has the soda ash in it all you do is mix this with water this is the easiest way to do it if you do the soda ash if you do the one where you need to add the soda ash to it Make sure you do that or your collar will not stay. It will wash out the first one as soon as you rinse it. That is up to you to do. Um, you can wear gloves or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, it really does wash off pretty easy. So that's totally up to you. Let me see if this is pink or not. Or what have, what have we here?
I think I'm going to go with it anyway. Whatever it is, we're going to go with it. Only thing is, is that I think it's the only color I have of that one, the only one I have of that, so that's all right. We will figure this out as we go. And that's usually what I do, I just, you know. So what I'm going to do is just do this, whatever ones I want this color as I go. I try to only get this on the dot, but you know, sometimes I don't. And you know what? It's all right. It's creativity. But just make sure you really get it wet. You soak it down, though. Because you want the color to go through all of the fabric here. be perfect dots but it'll be interesting to see what we come up with oh yeah I forgot my hands well oh well I was going to do a look today, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I might do one here later, or I might do a nighttime routine tonight. Yeah, I might do that tonight. I might do a nighttime routine. If you want to see me do a nighttime routine, put nighttime routine. And I'm also thinking of a giveaway for 300. If I get to 300 followers, I want to do a night, uh, so I'm thinking, what would you guys like for a giveaway? Now, when I get to 500, I, when I get to 500, I already have something in mind for a giveaway for that, so, and that's going to be something I think you guys will all like, but I'm not going to say much into that one yet but 300 followers you know I'm, I'm not looking to get monetized or anything I'm just looking to get followers okay let me put some pink on this one I think I can. I don't even know what color I got in my hands now. Now they look similar. Pink. 
See, I'll get a mess, but it's all right. It's okay. Now, what other color do I want to go in here with? Oh, let me find my paint. Let me find my caps, because I will tip them over if I don't. And I always, the caps that go on my boxes, I always put on, like these are the caps that go on top of my my kits. I always keep the kits because I keep the extra bottles because I buy the extra things like this to put in the tie-dye. So what color could I go in here with? Maybe gray? No, I might use that on teal. Man, I should have been lie, so I could have done this. Uh, maybe a green, a yellow. <laughs> maybe I'll just go in with some yellow here. Just some yellow here and there. Not a very vibrant yellow. Dang it. gone. I don't think I have another yellow yellow. Do I? Oh, I have a butterscotch. Well, I think I might leave it like this. And if I don't like it, I can always, you know, add a little bit of something. But now I let this sit normally for about two days. Okay? I, some of them say 24 hours but I've always let mine sit for about 48. And I will just take mine and put it in like a... Oh, a cool room like and however I want this to kind of stay like. Put it in the bag. And I always double back because I just don't want it to. In case this bag has a hole in it. probably going to be a pretty long video, guys, okay? And then I'm going to go to my other shirt. And what I do when I have these, okay, when I fold these, like I said, I just take this one's on inside out. Let's go. That one was. I just turn mine inside out. Especially if you draw on them, get a fabric marker so you can draw. And just kind of turn it over. I 
this is how I've always done it. You can take it. Some of them, they go from, they pull out one sleeve into another. I tried that and this works just as well for me and it's faster and easier. I've never had a problem of not being able to get it on both sides equally. So, what I do. And you know, when I rinse them, um, cause they don't have to be soaking wet, but damp. And I like to fold them and then just keep them on top of one another so I can, so they do stay damp. So. Then this one, I think I'm going to, how am I gonna do this one? I think we are going to fold this. Let me go see. Wait a minute here. I don't think. never cut the collar collar or anything until afterwards because I never know how I want to do it or even if I want to do it until the design comes out because I don't know This one. Just kind of a slight accordion. Not much, of, but a slightly. This one doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I think I'm gonna go. Do I wanna do this? No. Then I'm going to start twisting and twisting and twist and twist and twist. This is why I need my husband, I need somebody else here. I just want to keep twisting. where I'll use my neck to hold it. I want to keep twisting and twisting and twisting in separate directions. Just twist and twist. And you're letting it kind of do this on its own. And you know, there's, I got, because I had some little droplets on my hands and it got on here, but that's all right. It'll probably cover up what we're going to wind up doing. And I'm just twisting it. this one together here first. And yeah, 
unless I'll probably have issues tomorrow with my hands, but you know what, that'll be all right. That means I have fun today. I think I need some bigger rubber bands. I always keep at least a couple sizes. I, I need to get some smaller ones. I need to order me some smaller, some smaller ones. I can't talk today, but that's, but you guys know I have issues ever since I had my dentures. Since I've had my teeth pulled, had my dentures put in, if anybody's new. I had that done about a year ago. and I have issues speaking, talking. So, now since this is all Let me go find something. Hold on. Okay, this is where I like to use my jute. Because I like to go through here and just tie some of it off. Because I've lost some of my little... Twisty spots. And don't worry, we'll get this all saturated the way we want it. And sometimes you can use floss, you can use the jute, you can use bigger rubber bands if I had. Um, yarn, I mean anything that you want to use that will stay, you can use. Make sure you can tie it down real tight however you want it to stay that's good right there and then I'll cut the strings a little bit better here and I'm done it's gonna be good there I think that might hold it together the way I want And when I do this, I just never know what's going to come out. And that's one thing I really, really do like about it. Because I don't know. And I just like to get the tails right here. And this is the tail end of the shirt. I don't know what's going to happen here. Let me just tie this up a little bit better here. Don't think those will come undone, but... Just to be on the safe side. here we're going to use teal Add that one a little bit. 
that up. We're going to stack our rags. We're going to cut the bottle off and I'll get it all over the floor. If I need any other colors, we'll get it. I also want some purple in here. Or do I want gray? Oh my god. I like purple. I for gray in the last one. And let me shake up some gray anyway. Shake some gray up in here. Go to the fridge. I think I got some black. Oh. oh, you can't come up here right now, baby. So I got a scope to brown, scope for fingers and brown. Couldn't even be purple. I got I forgot about color I had in the refrigerator. Let's see what color this is. Okay, we have a blizzard. Okay. So that's Miss Press a lot. So, okay. So we are going to take, and we're going to start off with this tealy color. And since I have it rolled up so tight and stuff like this, I am going to. Well, this looks more green than teal. But that's okay. Be careful, You're, you won't be an orange cat no more. You might be blue. You know how mama is. We'll go back in. I've got more color, so we'll go back in. Don't know that number. Sorry. That oh, I want to go in with this limey green. Yeah, 
here. I'll go to teal, navy. Maybe some blue. Maybe some this. Maybe some that. And you don't have to get every spot of color if you don't want. I mean, it's your shirt. You do what you want. Go here. I'm gonna go here. Just get it through here and make sure it soaks through more than just this top layer. on that. You just close it up. Missy Prissy. Missy Prissy. Missy Prissy. Oh, you know you got a camera. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Say nope, 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 nope. It's not time to eat. You got like a couple more hours for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you do. And then this one here, the way we're going to do this one is, let me wash my hands real quick. My dryer going, got clothes going too. Let me see if she'll give me kisses. Mwah. Yes, it does. Those are good girls. Those are good girls. Have this one folded. Then with this one, we're just going to go. And 
in with this one like a like a regular tie-dye kind of and let's see do I want to do stripes Maybe we'll do it. No, we're going to do different. Different. Now we're going to do it that way. We're just going to do how they, we did it when we were in school. And my teacher would just have us take and, you know, just tie it off. And it's like, so it's here. Let me just cut off a bunch of these. Make it easier. Since we're doing it this way. I got a whole bunch of other ones where I, you... I mean, they're harder. I mean, I've made some pumpkins and I have done some hearts. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a heart next week. Or later in this week so I can... Well, it's already later this week. It's just that my hands take a toll when I really do fold the hearts because it's so because you just you know you draw it and then I have to make little folds in every line you have to do quite a few folds it's not hard it's just time consuming and it's hard when you because you know my wrist with the CRPS doesn't really move and might have a few issues tomorrow, but it's okay. We're only at 48 minutes. I know, it's all right. Justin sees her, he knows she's okay. It's the neighbor's cat, okay? This is how, this is, um, Miss Pris is, belongs to our neighbor. But, I let her in here all the time because Miss Pris can't stand his cats. So, I let her in the house. Mark don't like it, but I let her in all the time. But she loves Mark to death. And, um, I let her stay in here all the time. So, I'm not supposed to really have a cat, but I have a cat anyway. But she does belong to our neighbor, and she goes and visits him. But she loves here, and she's my little girl. I don't care what you say. I always told Mark, even though you know, I, right after we got together, I had to have an emergency hysterectomy. But anyway, I didn't want any more kids. But I told him, I said, we should have a red hair girl with green eyes. I said, she would be so beautiful. And guess what we have? We have a little red-haired girl with green eyes. Her so beautiful. But yeah, she... And yeah, our neighbor just right there. So. And what makes it really nice, too, is that... He's a vet, so... When, she, you know, he always calls and says, It's time for... Prissy Press's shots or whatever, or he'll say, I'm taking her in, so if you don't see her, don't get we're too worried. I got her. She's going in for some shots, and I'm like, okay. As long as I know where she's at, I'm okay. So. But that's how... I come to getting her, and she comes just at the right time to where, right after my mom passed away, and I was so, I was in a really, really, really bad way. I was so depressed, so upset, because my mom passed away unexpectedly, and she, well, basically, the nurses and doctors were doing CPR on her, and it was right after she had a surgery, and my mom was a, um, uh, 
a DNR, which is do not resuscitate. And me and my sister, and we looked at one another and we like, so this is not what she wanted, you know, and we were crying and like, you know, and the worst thing is to sit there. They had her, they had, you know, they had her, she come back to life, you know, one time her heart was starting to beat. I wouldn't say she was alive. Yep. And, uh, but they had to do it again and we're up, like, you know, we gotta tell them to stop because that's not what she wants. So that was the hardest thing was reaching over there and telling them to stop. And I will never forget the time because as soon as they announced that she was dead, my alarm for my medication went off. And that was the honestly the hardest thing that I ever ever had to deal with and as soon as that happened I literally my husband you know uh, put my wheelchair right beside the bed and I literally just jumped in the bed with her and just laid there for I don't know how long and just just cried because I wanted my mommy and all I wanted was my mom and yes I call I called her mommy up until the day she passed away I called her mommy I called my dad daddy um, until he passed away but yeah it was it was hard and I was in a very depressed state and I was seeing a therapist and then all of a sudden this thing walked up and just walked into my house like she owned the place just walked on in so that's how she got little miss prissy press just little miss prissy press oh you want the strings don't you so yeah that's how she got little miss prissy press i'm just gonna leave those on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take probably a little bit of all these colors and put on here. Mine as well. Okay. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, okay, take over the video, girl. Go ahead. Take it over. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going to you're going to go back over there, and Justin's going to want to know who you are because you're going to be green and purple and yellow and every other color you can imagine. Yes, you will be. Yes, you will be. You girl, get her. Come here, baby. You're gonna have to get down. Mommy gonna put you in this little bucket here. Yes, her is. Won't put you in there. Gonna go bye 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 bye, baby. Okay. And we're going to go in with, hmm, go in with this. I'm just freaking out. And then with the green, we'll go in with some purple. I said you can do whatever you want. Purple. 
I'm gonna go in with some pink. And see, it's got some folds in here, so you might have some white left in here. You might not. It don't all depend. Colors mix and mix. If they don't, they don't. It's your shirt. You do whatever you want. And with that pink, I think I'm gonna go in with this red. I just need two more colors I need to get rid of. Ooh, see now that is what I call like a teal color. This is turquoise, I think. That to me is really pretty. I like that. Now the ends of it. Got some orange here. Oh. Use some of this orange. Along with some of this. Over here, I'll go in with some. This one turns out. Okay, I'm not going to show my face because I really don't have any makeup on and my hair is all a mess of roomy and I'm all a mess of roomy. But thank you guys for coming on here and just doing some tie-dye, which is a little different. 
Now I'm going to go up here and see, this is why you wear gloves. This is why. I don't really like to wear gloves, but yeah. But you know, whatever tie dye you have left. Oh, I should have went in with the gray. I forgot about that. Dang it. Okay, well, I got gray, so we're going to have to. We're going to have to do something. I'm going to have to get some more stuff so I can do some more tie dye and use the rest of this stuff up that I have. Because I was wanting to really use that gray color. Darn it, dang it, doing that. But anyway, so just, um, I will post a thing on the community tab that I will be unveiling the, tie-dye we'll undo it we'll do it together on the commute on here I think I might do that. I think I might go live and do that but I will see you guys here maybe tomorrow I'll try to get on here and do a a video I have a palette I have not used in a quite a long long time I think it's divinity or divinity divinity something like that but we will get on here and I will see you later stay blessed stay beautiful and go aggravate your husband. Go, 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 go. Bye. Love you, love you.